I mean, drive-ins are on their way back. And, uh, you know, people that think they're dead are just uh, need to get out more. Even if it was a done deal and they said, no, it's going to be torn down, it's going to be closed, why not let us have, you know, one more season or one more month or even one more weekend just to say goodbye to the place? I think it's a, a shame that, you know, the people in charge really, I don't think, had a vision uh, to see what the thing could be, what it was and what it could be. The, the biggest thing is I never felt like the, the city hall wanted to encourage anybody to even try to fix things up. Good reasons to live here, but if we only do things, you know, for development and money's sake, you know, I think it'll really strip a lot of the character out of the city. When they made the decision to knock it down, I just broke down even more because I had tried so hard, so many petitions, so much effort went into this. We even put a rally on Hill Avenue. Nothing seemed to work and then we only had two supporters out of all those council members. I, it was just the worst thing to hear. It really seemed like the popular decision was to keep this property and I just I, I wonder about a person who would totally ignore the uh, the public's uh, perspective and just proceed with letting this run into the ground. It's ironic that the City of Aurora gets a Historic Preservation Award months after destroying <laughs> the very first drive-in movie theater that was ever erected in the state of Illinois. It, it just seems um, completely hypocritical, <laughs> to say the least.